Hi everyone out there on the internet, it's David here from DP Computing. At uh, DP Computing we provide on-site support solutions to people and businesses mainly in the area of South Australia or Adelaide of South Australia. Now today we've got a Dell XPS 15Z laptop. We're just going to open it up to show you how to replace the battery, um, hard drive, uh, optical drive, well, it's actually an SSD drive in here I should say. Um, Wi-Fi module and other internal components. Anyway, before we start, just the normal things. Please use a um, anti-static precautions, and do it following these steps may stuff up your machine totally, and even um, void your warranty. So I'm just going to grab myself. I didn't do it. A um, a normal um, just anti-static wristband so I'm just going to pop that on now this model is a bit tricky to get into or well, there are a few tricks first thing I usually say is to remove the battery now as you can see from the back here you can't actually remove the battery without opening it all up so that's just one little trick um, the other thing, there's um, eight screws on the back. I've actually removed them to make this video a bit quicker. But there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, before you remove them and start yanking the cover off, on the side here, there's actually another little panel, which I'll just remove. You'll have to get a like a something flat, a flathead screwdriver in. Um, just to remove it. I've removed it before that's why it's a bit easier for me but that's a little panel on the side and in there there's another two screws which you'll have to remove. So that's the trick to get the back cover off. So I remove the eight screws here then another two screws on the side here under the panel. So once they're all removed just get a, something flat. I've just used a flathead screwdriver uh, but it's probably best to um, use something um, plastic so you don't damage the actual unit itself. So just get that and move it around until you can take off the back cover. So there we go, that's the insides of the unit. I'll just show you the underside of the cover there, there's not much to see. But here we've got the insides of the unit, we've got the battery, the SSD drive, memory, Wi-Fi module, that looks to be the CPU, probably the video controller there, the fan, heat sink, optical drive, and what else is there? Um, probably got the BIOS, but yep, BIOS battery here, which is connected to a little connector there. So if it needs to be replaced, you can pull out that connector and put in a new BIOS battery. But the first thing we're going to do is actually remove the battery here. Now the battery is held in by another six screws, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I'll just remove those screws. So once you've removed the screws, just put them to the side and probably take note of where the screws came from. So you know when you're putting it all back again. Now the screw here, you, you probably can't see on the video, but when you do it yourself, you'll see there's actually three screws there. Um, the middle one is the one for the battery. The other one is for the optical drive, and the third one is for the motherboard. So the one in the middle, just remove that. There's one over this side. So once so they're all removed, don't go just yanking the battery out because the battery is actually connected to the motherboard. So just um, um, just carefully pull it up and then you can get under and pull out the actual battery connection on the motherboard. And there you go, that's the battery. So you just put that to one side. Now once the battery is out, you can actually start replacing some other things like the, the memory. Here you can see we've got two dim sockets. On either side of the dim sockets are little silver type tabs which hold the memory in. Just pull them outwards and the memory, as you can see, pops up. You can then pull it out. And then to put it back in, just reverse what we've done. Slide it in, then push it down until you hear a click. The same thing with the 
the other memory module, just pull it to the out, and then you can pull it out and plug it back in again. Now I've got the SSD drive here, that's held in by three Phillips head screws, so one, two, three, four, oh, sorry, I should say four Phillips head screws. So just remove those screws. And again, be careful where you put the screws so you know where they came from and you don't lose any. I just have a little container which I put the screws in. Um, I've heard of other people have containers with separated little compartments and then they can know they can separate the screws from the various bits. Anyway, once those screws are removed, again, don't just go yanking it because it's got a little connector here. As you can see, it's got a SATA connection. So we can just remove that carefully, got the normal SATA connection, and then you've got the SSD drive in a little caddy. The caddy is held in by another four screws. So I'll just take those out. being a little bit of a pain, sorry. Just get another screwdriver. Where's my other screwdriver? Always goes missing when you need it. Yeah, don't, a word of warning here, don't use a um, Phillips head screw that's a bit too big for the screws as you might thread the actual screws and do more harm in them. That's why I sort of replace the screw. Uh, change the screwdriver there so I don't just force the screws out or do damage to the actual screw heads. Now just the last one here and there we go we can remove the little caddy and that's the SSD drive itself which you can replace or upgrade to a larger one or whatever you have to do if you're having a problem with, with the hard drive. Let's put that to one side. Um, now I've got the optical drive here and that's held in by another four screws. So it's one, two, three, four. So I'll just remove those four. last one here and again before we go yanking it out just remove the BIOS battery because that's sort of under a little holder there and just pull it out nicely and there we've got the actual um, DVD drive for the unit or optical drive for the unit and there we go um, that's it that's the insides of a Dell XPS 15Z. Um, also got the, I don't think I said, the Wi-Fi sort of module over here. It's held in by one screw. So you can unscrew there and pull out the Wi-Fi module. Um, over on this side as well is another little separate board, which is for the, let me see, the audio, audio out there. So there you have it. Um, hope you like the um, teardown of the Dell XPS 15Z. Have any questions, please um, feel free to comment in the comment fields below. And also ch check out our other teardown, laptop teardowns. There should be a link appearing on the screen about now to one of our playlists. And also a teardown to our Dell laptop um, teardown or link. Um, thank you for watching and please subscribe to our YouTube channel and then, as I said if you have any questions or comments please leave them below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.